uh, and I had called some, uh, I think 150 to 200 students at that time. They remembered me. That's it. That, that, that was enough for me, right? So channel people who are uh, you know old and associated to me from long time thank you and people who are new for those i need to formally introduce myself hello everybody this is manisha sharma and i have qualified csir jrf in the year 2018 with air 68 i have qualified net with air 21 then i consecutively qualified two times gate exam and i have i was successful in qualifying five uh, you know premier institutes phd entrances being first sdpj lucknow second uh, nipjr new delhi and nii new delhi again uh, aizur mohali and uh, one was BRC PhD, right? Alongside, uh, I have also qualified BRC Scientific Officer exam, that is written exam, in the year 2019, and based on which I was called for BRC PhD. So enough with my introduction. I think I find myself eligible to you know, make this video because I myself have traversed the entire part of NII, that is from application to the day I gave the interview and the day I got a call from one of the postdoc in one of the scientists lab saying that Manisha would you like to join our lab you know uh, there's a cash there I was not called for PhD I was called for project because I was a botany project postgraduate and I just gave the interview in order to feel the interview but uh, I was not interested in pursuing plants uh, this uh, animal sciences but they just asked me because there I said I would love to do research in cancer if at all I get the chance so they asked me that Manisha you'll you know you can join the project and later on you can uh, you know convert it to PhD if you like it here then so I think that was uh, one of a kind experience for me I'm not like I was not lucky enough to get such calls such personal call from somewhere uh, although I was uh, approached by somebody on email, but not uh, this kind of call. Like, it feels great. It feels good that somebody, you know, calls you and people remember you. That there were, like, uh, and I has called some, uh, I think, 150 to 200 students at that time. They remembered me. That's it. That, that, that was enough for me, right? So, enough with the talk. And uh, today, as the thumbnail suggests, I would like to tell you about NII and... Uh, uh, the NII introduction uh, video as well as the road to NII, I have divided this into three parts. First will be the general introduction about NII. Second is the entrance exam, that is the written exam, basically syllabus. What do you have to read? What did I, you know, uh, comprehend it for you guys? And what are the experiences from students uh, which are associated to me on my Instagram? To, you know, uh, what, are, what were their experiences from the year 2020? 2020 I guess I gave it in 2019 and the students who gave it in 2020 I got information from them so I added that to you know that part two of the video and the third one will be completely about the PhD interview right so let me start uh, by telling you that it's my pleasure to introduce you to this institute because this was the first institute in India which developed who developed the vaccine for uh, leprosy. So the first of its kind vaccine for leprosy in India was developed by NII. So NII provides an ambient infrastructure, an ambient research environment in order to study higher sciences, right? So let's tell you key, what do I have to offer you? So I have divided this again. I actually subdivide a lot. So I divided this video into five parts. First is I will tell you, you know, why you should choose NII, right? Why NII only? Second is the eligibility and the minimum qualifications which are required to apply for NII. Third, first being why NII. Second being, uh, you know, uh, what if uh, 
uh, what are the minimum qualifications in order to join or in order to apply for an IIA? Third is what are the different modes of channels to apply for an IIA? Is it only the written exam or there are more than that? I think you guys know already what I'm talking about. And the fourth one is what is the you know a degree which is imparted by an IIA? Which institute imparts the degree of an IIA? And then uh, what if at all is there reservation in an IIA during your PhD entrances? and if yes then how much percentage of it is there and then last but not the least is if you qualify csir even if uh, with air1 and you don't write nii's exam will you be called there so these five questions i'll be dealing for you first one is why nii right so nii is the, uh, one of the like institute there are many institutes like nii but uh, in terms of fellowship, in terms of granting you fellowship, but NII gives you fellowship. Even if you do not have CSIR, but you qualify their written exam and you perform well in the interview and they find you eligible candidate who is, you know, uh, eligible enough, capable enough to carry the research in their institute, then they'll call you and they'll give you the fellowship from their own institute. So NII has its autonomous own fellowship so if you do not have csr if at all you miss csr by some marks as i missed once by 1.5 marks and which gives you net and it, it doesn't feel good because you're not jrf right so uh, then you can join nii it's an institute which will provide you fellowship and is uh, you know friendly enough to call you and uh, welcome you uh, other not like unlike other institutes which do not even call you even if you don't have jrf so why and i have told you you are encouraged to apply if you do not have fellowship or you missed your fellowship by one or two marks like you were capable but somehow it didn't work out right then the second question is what is the minimum eligibility what is the minimum qualification you need to hold in order to at least apply for nii right so the first uh, qualification is masters in sciences so masters in sciences beat anything it is so surprising and loving that they call you even if you have masters in chemistry masters in physics mathematics or uh, one of these like life sciences right and then if you are mbbs they'll call you like a day you are eligible to apply if you are a, a masters in veterinary sciences if you have msc integrated or there are certain other disciplines like mtech you are also eligible to apply and then it was clearly mentioned that there are certain equivalent you know degrees which are imparted by jnu these people are also these students are also eligible so i'll mention it here what is the eligibility i think it's of no use uh, however there are so many videos on youtube you can go check it out people have made video on application procedure to nii only right so then also we'll mention what happens like uh, it's a complete video right so and the third question was what was the third question i forgot uh, so the third question was even if you have csir like uh, i'll change the order of the question so even if you have csir like you qualified your csir jrf with air one will nii call you even if like you haven't uh, given their exam no baba they won't call you they won't call you if you don't have your uh, you if you have not written their exam so even if your air one even if you are, you know, uh, your your papers are showing that you have done your JRF and you're capable enough to sit for an interview, but you have not applied there, you have not given their entrance exam, you have not written their exam, you have not qualified their exam, then they will not call you. So their channel is simple. So write their paper, write their exam and uh, then qualify that exam. And after that, you'll be able to sit for the interview. Only after that, you'll be able to sit for the interview. So the third question is done here that even if I have CSIR, I've called qualified csir jrf like why is i told you in my previous videos where that when i qualified my csir i was innocent enough that i thought that people will call me okay hi manisha i would love to work with you so this doesn't happen right there's a channel there's an application procedure you'll have to apply with that and you'll have to formally go for it like uh, application first then you'll be called uh, for written exam your admit cards will be released you'll give the written exam you'll be called for interview there are two rounds of interview after one round you'll be shortlisted and then but after second round there'll be results so this is the entire process for nii so third question done good uh, fourth question was uh, is there reservation for PhD students like for entrance exam uh, in NII and also what will be the degree imparted by NII, right? So yes, there is reservation like uh, like in NIPGR also there is there are reserve seats for different categories uh, like a uh, percentage certain percentage is reserved for the categories also for PWD students. So uh, 
yes reservation is there uh, during the phd entrances and uh, degree imparted is from the jawaharlal nehru university uh, so you will get a doctoral degree say for example if i got admission if i like took admission in, and i am completed successfully my phd then i would have uh, got the degree like manisha sharma doctoral degree is imparted to manisha sharma from jawaharlal nehru university and that mark sheet will be from jnu only right and uh, reservation done right and the last question last and not the least what are the mode what are the challenges to enter uh, this place called nii you know what are the different exams is there one is there two or both of them or like some other third uh, you know ways there no there are only two channels you guys very well know that one is pifr that is jg bills and the second one is their own written exam right if in yes if you don't write the exam but you have qualified pifr and uh, no you write the exam you don't qualify the exam but you have in the modes to entrance to nif you have mentioned that uh, tifr jg bills right and you you upload your jg bills scorecard you will be called for the interview so there are students who have you know qualified uh, this institute's interview based on their jg bills right so the two channels are tifr and jg bills rest information uh, you'll check in my second video and these two videos will be simultaneously released and after that i'll release the video based on my experience of the interview rounds and uh, how different was my interview from the other people because i think i was uh, some uh, i was alone i was like the only student who was from plant sciences no there were students there were students i i met some of them right so yeah i'll tell you but that also and uh, if some information is missed here you go check out my instagram and i'll write there and my instagram handle is bark is biology and phd interviews brc underscore isro underscore and phd interviews uh, so also you can check out my telegram channel which is again brc scientific officer by manisha sharma right so i am trying to guide you as much as i can and career guidance is what i am more interested in however i i would love to teach you academically also but uh, i'll take some time right uh, till then i can impart you the information which i already possess based on the short long journey till now and uh, the information is getting added on day by day as i grow up and uh, yes guys thank you thank you for uh, listening to me thank you you guys are awesome and uh, write down information if you got some important information and make a copy from for an i like a small copy from uh, like a copy which contains some 50 pages and uh, write there be very specific be very expert and uh, keep studying be happy and if you have any question drop down in the comment section if you like my videos kindly support me by subscribing or you can support me by giving a thumbs up which you will i i know there are people constantly who give this like to me and i am happy about the fact that yes uh, i i am you know able to give you some information i am able to contribute something in your lives and my tagline is as you all know that is best is yet to come so yeah thank you everybody we'll meet later bye bye